figures and the archaeologists. The archaeologists have actually call, called the bottle diggers worse than baby rapists. <laughs> that we are raping the history of the country. But in reality, the archaeologists, like I was saying earlier, they won't do this on their day off. They will not do this on their day off. That's our day off, that's our hobby. They will only do it for this. And that's the part that really gripes me, is when you're standing there talking to a professional, and no, I wouldn't do that. Well, there you go. And if they do not get permission and the money to do a site, the bulldozers can come in and run it over and we don't care. Now Mark and I, if we got a site that a bulldozer is doing this, we're running like this, being chased by the bulldozer. I've actually, I've actually been in a hole with my brother as a spotter saying the bulldozer is 50 feet away, the bulldozer is 40 feet away, and I'm like in the wall going like this. You know, the archaeologists won't do that to try and save a bottle. They just don't. And our passion for this is basically, it's not monetary driven. You can't make money digging bottles in Minnesota, Wisconsin. No. It's for our collections. And it's like a hobby, like fishing. People spend $10,000 on a fishing boat, $5,000 on a trailer, a cabin, a permit, the gear, the, yeah. the, the cabin rental and everything. Our expense, our major expense is gasoline. Oh, well, by the way, you owe me nine bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Trade him a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Any more questions at all? Thank you, everyone, for coming. If anybody is interested, we have a sign-up sheet.